Hey everyone, it's Yolanda. It's almost five o'clock and I've been home about 30 minutes now. And I was so ready to get home because I decided to try something different in my crock pot. Campbell's has this new slow cooker meal. Campbell's sauce is slow cooker, buffalo chicken. And I decided to try it today. Let me show it to y'all. Excuse my lighting today. I already tore the package open, but they have different flavors. This is the buffalo chicken. You just add the chicken. No other seasonings needed. Put it in the crock pot. So I put this in the crock pot. I bought two packs and I bought some chicken thighs. And I put it in the crock pot around right before six o'clock this morning if I left for work. And I'm getting home at 4.30. So it's cooked about maybe nine hours or so. I put it on the 10 hour setting, but it's already done. So this is what it looks like. It's the chicken thighs. And I tasted the sauce um, in the packet. It was pretty good. I thought it would be too spicy. I don't like really, really spicy stuff. But no, it just has a little kick to it. And I'm waiting to see how it's going to taste. I know it's going to taste better, though, when it's cooled off, like when it's reheated. But that's something new I'm going to try. And with it, I have some stream beans. And what I use is my leftover turkey turkey wings, the little turkey pieces that I had left over. Got to make good use of the leftover turkey. And for the girls, I have some mashed potatoes, which I just tasted a little bit. Um, I'm not really into mashed potatoes, but I do make some good mashed potatoes. I okay, this is a better close-up <laughs> of the buffalo slow cooker chicken. I didn't have the camera position right before. But it looks good. Can't wait to try it. So I did taste that. I'm just gonna have the turkey, string beans, and my buffalo wing chicken. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow. This is just a short little video just to show y'all what I'm doing. I'm gonna come back and move on this tomorrow, mini moot. And I'm gonna put this all together and I bring you tomorrow what the result is of this buffalo chicken, slow cooked chicken, slow cooker chicken, Campbell's slow cooker chicken. That's the name. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Love you. Welcome back, guys. It is now 24 hours later since I cooked my slow cooker Campbell's buffalo chicken. And I'm tasting it now. I did eat a little bit last night, but I said I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours, um, reheat it, and have it for, of course, leftovers, because things always taste better when they heat it back up. So, we got the buffalo chicken thighs, and we have my string beans with leftover turkey. <laughs> Thanksgiving, I have to make use of that turkey. Can't throw it out. So, I'm gonna say my blessing, and we're gonna get it in. I got a few things to share with y'all today. Dear Heavenly Father, thank us for this meal today. Thank us for the upcoming holiday season, and we're looking so forward to the blessings this holiday season. And we thank you, and amen. Okay, so my buffalo style Campbell slow cooker chicken made especially for the crock pots. Very convenient for, you know, working folks like me. <laughs> they don't have time to cook a full meal when they get home. I put this in the crock pot six o'clock yesterday morning. I got home around 4.30 and it was done. So it was like 10 hours, nine to 10 hours. Very tender and it is a very good taste. I thought that it would be kind of spicy, but it's not. You would tell it's buffalo flavored, but it's not spicy. It just has a slight amount of kick, but it tastes pretty good. I'll do it again. I think they had one other flavor. I don't remember what it was, but Campbell, they have the slow cooker meals. They have the oven meals, and I just said I'll try the buffalo. That's all they had left, but it was almost gone because I had I got two packs of this and a big pack of chicken thighs. And they had two packs of the buffalo sauce left, so I figured people buying it up like that is good. And it was. So, I don't know why things taste so much better when you heat them back up. But I say it was good last night. I say it's gonna be even better the next day. Leftovers. So that's what we're doing now. My string beans, they were just string beans in the can. 
but I added the raw and the turkey pieces left over Thanksgiving, so that gave us some kick. And then that did come out good. So what we're going to be talking about today, it is the holiday season and I'm going to be doing some vlogging, Christmas vlogging. So Christmas vlogging, I know a lot of people usually vlog every day, probably for the first couple of weeks before the holiday, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, but I'm not going to be doing daily Christmas vlogs. I can't do daily vlogs. I work in this cumbersome, it's tiresome, but... I will be blogging, blogmas, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna be doing my blogmas a couple of times a week, but not on the daily. So maybe three or four videos a week, and you know, on the weekend. Just gonna let y'all see what I'm doing Christmas time. Share some things about the holiday season with y'all. Let y'all see what I'm doing, what's going on. I have my tree up. I'll let y'all see that on my first blog, it'll be at least by Saturday. I'll be starting the vlogmas. Yolanda's Blossoming Vlogmas. So, a few videos for y'all coming up a couple of times a week. We're going to be talking and sharing the Christmas, spreading the Christmas joy. That's what I will be doing. And I'm so excited about Christmas. I told y'all a few weeks ago that for a long, long time, I was not in the Christmas spirit at all. I was depressed. This is you know, I tried to fake it <laughs> for the kids, you know, my grandbabies. My youngest daughter's 14 now. But this is really the last Christmas. It's really the first Christmas where I was very excited, happy, tree up. My tree was up this year before Thanksgiving. <laughs> the Sunday before Thanksgiving. Because I was going to get it up and everything's decorated. I'll show you that during the first vlog. Vlogmas, but y'all, you know, you can come up, overcome, you know, basically anything. The depression and the funk I was in, you know, and it was for a long time, believe me. <laughs> now, I was so in the holiday spirit, so that's why I decided to do the vlogmas and just bring some of that joy, spread some of that Yolanda's blossoming joy <laughs> for the Christmas season, but. You know, I appreciate everyone's following me on the journey. This is so good, y'all. Everything's always better the next day. Had a long day at work. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to be going with my job to Atlanta. Every year, they do a special event with Clark Howard. Those of you out there in the Georgia area know who clock how it is he's a consumer advocate very popular in Georgia so we he has a program called Clark's Christmas Kids so we do that every year and last year we couldn't go because there was a snowstorm ice storm in Atlanta and you know for our safety they didn't want us to go so this year they chose me again so I get my first real chance to go and shop for Clark's Kids so I'm looking forward to that that'll be the kickoff for me Start my vlog, Miss Sadie. And I can't wait. So many things I want to share with y'all in this holiday season while I'm getting my little meal on. I hope everyone had a great day at work. One thing I'm glad about, too, I get to sleep a little later is I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. And I'm glad, you know, I don't mind because I have a real good schedule, 7, really 7 to 4. So it's worth me getting up at 5. No, but it is good to have one weekday where I can lay down a little later. I'm going to sleep till like 8.30. <laughs> get up, get ready, head on out, get ready to meet the people at work and go to Atlanta. <laughs> so, I'm so looking forward to that. I'm going to start my weekend. And tomorrow is my mama's birthday. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I know she'll be watching this video. I'm not going to tell her age, of course, but... I had my mommy, so unfortunately I won't get to see her tomorrow, but she's cool. I'll see her Saturday, spend some time with her Saturday. We'll give her something special. See if she wants to go out to eat. She loves that, so 
You'll get that in Saturday. So after I eat, get this video edited for y'all to see. I'm just going to relax, lay down, spend some time to myself. Diamond's in her room. <laughs> you know, she's 14. She's always in her room. I came home, I was going to heat up some of this food leftovers for her. See, they had mashed potatoes. I showed y'all the mashed potatoes, and I did taste a little bit. Can't have that all the time, so. She had already eaten some leftover tuna salad I fixed, which I also had for lunch. This is a Mr. Truck. And Destiny, she's... She said she ate some mashed potatoes earlier. She didn't touch the chicken. And she likes buffalo chicken, so totally try it. She's my two oldest two daughters is very picky. Destiny and Dominique. Picky about certain foods. Dominic's a little easier to work with. <laughs> She's a little more flexible with food. I'm just about finished, y'all. Alright. Dominic can heat this up tomorrow. Since I'll be gone, she'll have the it'll be here. So she can eat some of this until I get home. So I'm about full. This is one little chicken thigh. And just a little bit of string beans. And you know I'm about done. I'm gonna finish this up. Got a little cool, but it's good. It's all good. And this was a good meal. It's been so cold. Now today here in the Georgia Lima. <laughs> The CSRA, Georgia South Carolina. We've had some cold mornings. We've been down in the upper 20s. And the day, like today was a warmer day. It was like maybe 59 degrees. So we had a good day. And I didn't walk. And I normally I love to walk outside. This would have been a good day to walk outside. I decided to just go out for lunch. I just ran to Dollar Tree. I would have did a little haul, but it's hard to do that, you know, when I'm on a time crunch for our lunch break. So. Next time I bring y'all Dollar Tree Hall again. But we're gonna pick some knickknacks up, little things for the house. I actually feel like getting on the treadmill. I've done the treadmill three days this week. And I think I walked Monday and Tuesday. No, Monday I walked and Tuesday and Wednesday I went on the treadmill. So this will be my rest day. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be a lot doing a lot of walking, shopping for the kids tomorrow. So that'll be my exercise tomorrow when I'm in Atlanta. Well, I'm finished. I'm done. This was good. But your girl is full. I'm going to take one last little bite. I love crock pot meals. You know, anybody that works, you know, it's so convenient. I want to get me a bigger crock pot. Some people have more than one crock pot. I only have one, but I need a bigger one. But this was so good and convenient. And the meal lasts a few days. So we'll eat off this tomorrow. I probably won't have much tomorrow until I get home. I would have eaten already, but I'll finish some Saturday. And I'll have my grandbabies this weekend, so. I see my mom and dad may want some. It'll be left, because my kids, they're picky. You know, if I cook stuff, it'll be left over. They're not going to eat leftovers more than one day. I'm the one that will eat the leftovers for two days or so, because I don't like to see food go to waste. But I'll take the, I got a lot left, so I'm going to take some to my mama tomorrow, or Saturday when I see her. And that'll be it. So, this is what I have left. You know, two little pieces of chicken, but I'm stuffed. Can't do any more. So, we're going to start the Vlogmas. I'll be coming with y'all Saturday, starting Saturday, with some Vlogmas videos. Remember, not every day. The girl can't do it every day. But I promise at least two or three times a week, I'm going to be vlogmas with you. Bring you different things. So, stay tuned for that. I'm about to go take a shower. Relax, enjoy, because I don't have to get up at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning for three days in a row. So your girl is going to chillax and just read, catch up with some YouTube videos. First, I had to get this video edited for y'all, but I'll check back with y'all Saturday for our first Vlogmas, as usual. And I keep forgetting to tell y'all in the beginning, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I got to make myself a mental note. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate everyone's support sharing these videos. Um, you know, um, supporting, I don't mind supporting other YouTubers, supporting other, you know, people in general, what they do. So I appreciate anyone's support. You know, share the video. Tell people about Yolanda's Blossoming. I appreciate it. Love y'all. Stay blessed. Stay focused. Have a happy Friday. And I will see y'all Saturday in two more days. Peace. Thank you.